Hey, what is going on guys? This is SME Beer Reviews, and today we are going to be taking a look at the new album from Billy Ray Cyrus titled The Snake Doctor Circus. Let's get to it. Honestly, I don't blame Billy Ray for trying to put in a, out an album after he found such success with Lil Nas X on Old Town Road Remix. Because arguably this is one of the biggest points in his career. Yes, he did have a big hit with Achy Breaky Heart, but past that he didn't do too much. And I'd argue that a lot of people probably know him better as Miley Cyrus's dad, specifically because of the Hannah Montana TV show. I feel like more people probably know him from that than his actual music uh, uh, standalone. So because of the remix, this is one of the biggest exposures he's really got, and I don't blame him for trying to get an album out around that time. Now, I've never really kept up with Billy Ray Cyrus. The only song I do know by him is Achy Breaky Heart. And so, honestly, I was kind of expecting this to not be that good. I don't feel like Billy Ray has a great voice, at least now, because I didn't feel like his voice in Old Town Road was really that good. I kind of expected this to be pretty bad, and definitely one of those washed-up artists just trying to ride out some success. And, honestly... This album kind of surprised me. That's not to say it's a great album. And I still believe Billy Ray is not one of the best vocalists ever. There's a couple tracks where his voice just is so incredibly off. But honestly, in this album, it's not too bad. It's pretty okay. Now, he obviously is a country artist. But this album kind of leans into southern rock, kind of. We've got a lot, a, a lot of very traditional rock, southern rock sounds. And honestly, it sounds pretty good. I did actually enjoy some of these tracks. The Reckoning is one of my favorite tracks, not because it's some lyrical masterpiece, but it actually is really catchy, really sweet in just its instrumentation, and I really do like Billy Ray's performance here. Now, yeah, some of the songs here do have some pretty poor performances. I feel like Goddess of Democracy is one of those tracks. Billy Ray feels totally out of place. and. He gets political in this track, talking about the destruction of democracy. It's not terrible. It, it doesn't... It, it kind of feels like an old has-been trying to be all political to be popular is what it really comes across as, because political is popular right now. Being very socially forward is popular, and I it, it kind of comes across like that just because when I think of Billy Ray Cyrus, I would never think of political. Um, so that's why it feels that way. And while we're on the topic, this album is very political. It does delve a lot into a lot of, of fairly social issues. It, it's very democratic in, in its mindset. And I do, uh, it doesn't always come across poor. And by no means do I dislike the politics or like them. I'm not going to comment on them. I just want to, uh, again, I always remain neutral in, on politic talk. But... A lot of the talk here is pretty surface level, doesn't really do too much or really strengthen anything. Pretty much it's just the typical whining about the poor state of, uh, of America or the earth or whatever he's trying to discuss, rather than really trying to pose a solution or getting into really in-depth conversation about it. And like I said, it really just feels like an artist trying to do it for popularity because it is popular. It is a good thing to do right now. And so I totally see why he would do it. Again, it's smart on his end, but it doesn't necessarily work. It doesn't, it's not something that I would be coming to Billy Ray Cyrus for, at least. The politics just never feel clever at all. Then that's the big problem here. Then we have songs like Take It Easy Greasy, very repetitive, um, but not political. And Honestly, that's a lot of the album. You either get these political tracks, and maybe the lyrics aren't too structurally sound, but at least the hooks are okay, and typically Billy Ray sounds decent enough. And honestly, I'm surprised with this. It has It's way better than it had any right to be. I fully expected this album to suck. And it's actually fairly good. It's not a great album by any means. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play dumb and try to talk up this album. But to say I'm not impressed would be a total lie. I'm actually really surprised with how solid some of these songs are. They've got a good hook. The lyrics maybe aren't great, but they don't stink. And even when Billy Ray Cyrus says some lines like poop, which should not be a line that's in or a lyric that's in any songs ever, it doesn't necessarily stink too bad. No real pun intended. <laughs> um, it's an okay album, and like I said... The instrumentation is good here. I mean, 
I'm fairly impressed. Yeah, it still is not great. The lyrics are so paper thin. Uh, it just, that is the biggest holdback. Uh, uh, like, the biggest thing holding me back from loving this album. But sonically, yeah, it's pretty okay. Uh, and okay is really a good word for this. Okay to good. Because it's... It's all right. I'm fairly impressed, like I said, and I know I sound really like I like I'm praising it. It's more because I'm impressed because of the artist and the context, not because of music as a whole. It's it's a it's a fine album. That's that's what I'm going to say. It's a fine album, and I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. What did you guys think of this album? Please let me know down below. Also, is there anything I can do to improve the quality of my videos or any upcoming albums you'd like me to check out? I do have a Twitter. Link is in the description. It's always in the description, but whether I mention it or not, that's random. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. It really does mean a lot to me, and I will see you guys later.